morning, Capricorn. This is your behind the scenes reading for October 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for October 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for October 2022 universal energies show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for October 2022 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Capricorn. Capricorn, these are your cards, honey. So, Capricorn, you have the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So listen, Capricorn, you're telling me that you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produce because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup clarify the page of cups for capricorn clarify the page of cups for capricorn clarify the page of cups for capricorn it is clarified with the king of wands Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go getter, a take charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, listen, Capricorn could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the king of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the king of wands for Capricorn. Clarify the king of wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Capricorn, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Yes, someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. 
clarify judgment for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. That was your judgment. You can tell me you're just so burdened by the whole situation that you went and confronted them. Okay, and it very well could be that we found love messages or heard the news of them sharing love. However, Capricorn, you could be meditating on maybe forgiveness yourself, maybe wanting to set the record straight here. Okay, maybe even wanting to take action to apologize and to release this burden. Listen, Capricorn, you have the Nine of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So listen, Capricorn, very well could be getting your wish here. You can tell me that, yeah, you're feeling smug or you're overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Capricorn. Clarify the Nine of Cups. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the four of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Capricorn, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about leveling up commitment, marriage. This can be a ceremony, a celebration, or even progress pretty here okay so listen either you're telling me it's your wish that you guys level up and have some type of stability here or you're telling me you're getting drunk at some type of celebration or ceremony or some type of party here just releasing this burden getting your party on listen capricorn you have the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius this queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Capricorn could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords. For Capricorn, clarify the Queen of Swords. For Capricorn, clarify the Queen of Swords. For Capricorn, it is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something, yes? However, you can tell me that you guys had this conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama. Now, listen, you can tell me you're conflicted with Dan about whether or not to just cut them off and release this burden. You can tell me you're conflicted with Dan about maybe some type of legal documentation or paperwork, maybe leveling up here, okay? Because it very well could be them coming in as a page with this romantic news and you have to pass your judgment here. However, you can tell me that you guys had this conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama and you cut them off. Capricorn, you have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication, but this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication, yes? Or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. Clarify the page of swords for Capricorn. It is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So listen, Capricorn, you're telling me that you're hurt? 
You may be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Now, it very well could be that you guys had this immature, premature communication and this is the reason why your feelings are hurt. Or you went looking and spying and discovered that there was a third party here and this is why you're hurt. Capricorn, you have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you, or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me it's a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Capricorn, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation, yes? Or you're blocking communication here. So listen, Capricorn, you can tell me that you're blocking communication because you guys had this rushing and going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument here. Yes. Or you're telling me you're blocking communication because they were out being a player, getting cookies somewhere with a third party. Capricorn, this is your behind the scenes reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.